Hi guys, my name's Rich Allen. I'm the Director of Viticulture and Winemaking here at Rombau Vineyards. Uh, today we're going to host a wine dinner for you virtually. So I just want to give a shout out to Chris and Mary at the Wine Vault and Bistro. Thank you for having us. You guys are great partners. And also to Chef Greg. He's come with some amazing food pairings today and I can't wait to uh, walk you through those with the wines and enjoy them. So the first two courses we are going to do with Rombau Chardonnay. So if you want to pour yourself a glass while you listen to me talk, maybe two. Let's start this and enjoy it. So a little bit of history about Rombauer. Rombauer was founded by Kerner and Joan Rombauer in 1980, but they arrived here in the Napa Valley a little bit before that. Kerner Rombauer grew up in Escondido, California, and out of high school, he knew he wanted to be a pilot. So he joined the military and he ended up in the California Air National Guard, uh, flying F-86s as a fighter pilot. And from there, he moved into commercial airlines and became an airline pilot for Braniff Airlines. That rural setting where they grew up, they knew they wanted to be uh, with that with their family and so they were looking for an international airport where Kona could fly out of on the Pan Pacific route but also be in a rural area and that's how they found the Napa Valley and they ended up here in 1972. They wanted somewhere they could raise their family, not lock their doors, ride their ATVs and their horses but over time as Kona got to know more of the growers, the local vintners have dinner, they started to develop this relationship with the wine industry. By the mid 70s, they became partners in Con Creek and that was really Genesis. After a few years, they sold that partnership and in 1980, they founded Rombau Vineyards. And that was really the beginning. Many of you would know us for our flagship wine, which is Chardonnay, but what you might not know is that 1980, the first vintage was actually a Cabernet. This was a Stag's Leap Cabernet uh, from Carl Domaney's vineyard. It was crushed and fermented at Schaefer and aged in Kerner's garage at the top of the hill here. In 1982, we added Chardonnay. In 1983, we added Merlot. It wasn't until 1990 that we added Zinfandel. And finally, in 2014, we added our Sauvignon Blanc. So what many of you might not know is Kerner Rombauer's uh, connection with the culinary world is very special. It was his a great aunt, Irma Rombauer, that wrote The Joy of Cooking in 1931. And Kerner always wanted his wines to go with food. And he wanted them to taste good right off the bat. So now that we're talking about food, let's get into this first course. We're going to pair the 2018 Rombauer Canera Chardonnay with the savoury crab bread pudding. Savoury crab bread pudding is a shellfish based dish, which is one of our favourite things to pair with Rombauer Chardonnay. Any sort of crab meat uh, that's prepared in a full flavoured way that you're having tonight is going to stand up very well to the full flavour of Rombauer Chardonnay. And the Chardonnay is going to have lots of uh, ripe tropical fruit, lots of creamy texture on the mid palate, some little bit of vanilla oak in this buttery finish. But that flavor of that bread pudding with the crab is gonna be full and rich, and the wine's gonna have enough acid to cut through that, so it's gonna be a perfect pairing for you. So a little history on Rombau Chardonnay. It was, uh, the first vintage was 1982. Um, it wasn't made in the style it's made today. It was uh, from Mount Vita, uh, from the French vineyard. The wines are very tart, very acidic, very linear, and made to age an extremely long time in the bottle. It wasn't until 1990 that we started sourcing fruit from the Carneris region and the San Giacomo family that we started to develop the style of Rombau Chardonnay that you know today. The wine is always rich and full. It's uh, the winemaking techniques that we use give you a very creamy mid palate, a lot of vanilla oak, a buttery finish, but the most important thing is this wine is all held together with acid. And if you don't have enough acid, the wine will fall apart on the palate. And that's why, even though we have all these different winemaking techniques to pair with that high quality fruit from Carneris, that acid is what allows the wine to still pair very well with lots of different food dishes. So the 2018 vintage down in Carneris, especially for white wines, was almost picture perfect. We had a beautiful long mild summer and a very long extended growing season. So we could really just pick each block of Chardonnay exactly when we wanted to, to make the perfect wine. Mild weather helped us retain acid, but it also gives you a much more pronounced fruit intensity in the wine, which is what you're gonna to see today. So while I've got you here, why don't you pour yourself another glass of Chardonnay and we'll talk about the second course, which is the coconut curry chicken soup. Curry is one of my favorite dishes and uh, coconut pairs incredibly well with Rombau Chardonnay. Because Rombau Chardonnay is a fuller flavored, uh, fuller bodied wine, it can stand up to full of flavored dishes. So coconut curry chicken soup, with those spicy flavors, especially that coconut, but also the fat from the chicken is gonna pair very well with the Chardonnay. That coconut is actually a very similar flavor to what we see in the barrels that we use for Chardonnay. So there's a synergy there between the dish, but there's also this opposing fat and acid of the wine. And when those two are paired together, you're gonna to have a great texture and flavor on the palate that you'll enjoy for the whole course. So let me orient you to where we are today. We are here in front of our iconic cave door here at Rombau Vineyards amongst our beautiful gardens here at the original winery. 
We're actually closed now. We're hoping to open up again soon, and I'm hoping that you'll all be able to join me for a glass of Chardonnay up on our deck and enjoy the view of the Napa Valley. So Kerner always believed that we should control as much of the fruit sourcing as we could, but in the early days we couldn't afford to purchase vineyards. So it wasn't until 2002, 22 years after we founded the winery, that Kerner purchased his first vineyard. And that was our Buckley Station vineyard down in Carnaris. It's at the southern tip of the Napa Valley, and it's where we source most of our high-end Chardonnay, and where we first start picking nearly every year. So in 2003, Kerner purchased his Atlas Peak vineyard up at 1,600 feet on Atlas Peak. That was followed by our Stice Lane vineyard on the south side of St. Helena in 2005. And in 2010, we purchased our Bennett Lane vineyard in Calistoga. Having these vineyards the length and breadth of the Napa Valley allows us to blend in different ways every year to ensure we have a consistent Cabernet year in, year out. In 2011, we purchased our first Zinfandel vineyard, and this was the Twin Rivers vineyard in El Dorado County. This was a vineyard that we'd worked with for a long time, but it didn't come up for sale until 2011. And in 2013, we added our new premier Chardonnay ranch, DeVito, in the Canaris region. So Rombau Vineyards is a family-owned uh, company. We have the second and third generations working for the winery today. And the hope and uh, belief is that the family will continue to run Rombau for many generations to come. So we've been talking a lot about white wines, but now it's time to start on the red wines in the next two courses. I'm standing here in front of our iconic cave door where we age all of our red wines. So let's go for a little walk and we'll show you what it is. So if you've been to Rombau before, you've probably come this far and seen the cave door. Today, we're going to go past the cave door and show you where the wines are aged. These caves were built in the early 90s and they're 100% natural in terms of temperature and humidity. So it's perfect for aging and cellaring wine. So here we are today in our caves. These were built or finished being constructed in the mid 90s. It's about a third of a mile in terms of linear feet and we can hold about two and a half thousand barrels. What's really nice about the caves is that it's a natural uh, ambient temperature of 65 degrees with about 80% humidity, which is perfect for aging wine. We don't have to use any energy to be able to do that. It's totally natural. So in this particular section of the caves, which is the five-way intersection, we're about 30 feet under the tasting room, which is directly above us. And you can see we have all of our 2019 Cabernet and Merlot behind me, aging away in perfect conditions. Your third course this evening, you guys have Texas style brisket with bacon braised greens. Um, this is actually my favorite pairing on the menu. And we're gonna pair it with our new, newly released 2018 Zinfandel. Barbecue and Zinfandel are probably uh, my favorite pairing that you can have with a Rombauer wine. The Zinfandel is really super rich, full flavored, um, concentrated wine with lots of spice and lots of jammy flavors. And you need a really strong wine that has a lot of flavor to stand up to barbecue flavors. So this brisket, which I'm guessing has been slowly roasted, is very soft, has an incredible uh, meat flavor with the barbecue, is gonna basically pair perfectly with Zinfandel. And um, I wish I had this dish with me right now because it would be delicious. Another one of Kona's philosophies was sourcing the best possible fruit from any given region. So when we started making Zinfandel in 1990, we started sourcing fruit from the Sierra Foothills, which is east of Sacramento, at the base of the Sierra Nevada Mountains and specifically from two regions up there, uh, Amador and El Dorado County. Our Twin Rivers Vineyard, which is our state vineyard up there, which we purchased in 2011. We actually worked with this fruit for almost a decade before we purchased the vineyard. And last year, we purchased our first winery up there. The whole idea behind having a second winery up there is to make the wine as close to the vineyard as possible to protect the quality. So if you're ever up in Amador County, east of Sacramento, uh, we now have a second Rombauer tasting room up there, which we'd love you to visit. I mean, our Chardonnay is probably our most popular wine, but our Zinfandel is a very close second. And it's so popular that we quite often get people visit our tasting rooms who don't even know that we make Chardonnay and they know us for Zinfandel. So for our fourth course today, you guys are having uh, charred lamb desado with smoked rosemary whipped potatoes. And we're pairing that with our 2017 Merlot. And I know I said that the barbecue brisket with the Zinfandel would be my favorite, but I am very partial to lamb being Australian and lamb is actually my favorite dish. so I'm quietly excited about this pairing and wish I could have it with you all. So let's talk about uh, why our 2017 Merlot pairs so well with lamb. Our Merlot was sourced entirely from the Canaris region, the southern end of the Napa Valley. Same region as the Chardonnay, so it's a little bit cooler, but it has very bright primary fruit flavors. So lots of plum, lots of spice, and it's just a hint of like jam to it. But what's really fascinating about this wine, because that cooler region where it's grown, it's very high in acid. So when you have lamb, which is a strong gamey dish, which has a lot of fat, 
The acid in this wine with that plummy flavour pairs perfectly with that gamey flavour and the fattiness of the lamb. So it really is a match made in heaven. All of our wines are hand-picked and hand-sorted in the vineyard, but with the red wines we go one step further, and after they're distemmed, we actually optically sort. So what that is, is the belt, as the berries come across the belt at high speed, we use a high-speed camera at 1,000 frames per second to photograph every berry. If it's not the right size, shape, and colour, it's rejected with an air jet. So what we're looking for is perfectly ripened, round, dark-coloured berries to go into the tank. And when we do that, we get a greater purity of fruit and a stronger vineyard character from each block. So Merlot is actually a star favourite, and I can say that with a completely straight face. Um, everybody at the winery loves it. When we have a, a staff event, the Merlot is usually one of the first wines to go. We've been making Merlot since 1983, and the style of this wine is all about purity of fruit balanced with acid. And that's why we're down in the Canaris region. We started making it in 1983. It's darted around the Napa Valley over time, but we've continued to move further and further south down the Napa Valley over the last 20 years to get a higher quality fruit. And when we look at Merlot and where it does well in other parts of the world, it's always a more moderate climate with clay soils. And if you go to the bottom of the Napa Valley, it's a little bit cooler and you have predominantly clay soils. And that's why we're down there in Canaris to grow Merlot. It gives us a higher purity of plum, a little bit of spice, soft tannin, but it gives you a wine that still tastes like Merlot. So you can identify it in the glass straight away. It tastes like a rich, ripe, uh, concentrated, perfectly balanced wine. So after the wines are finished fermenting, the tanks are drained, the skins are basket pressed to extract the remaining wine, and then it's put to barrel in the caves here where we are today for about 15 to 16 months. Once it's matured and we decide that it tastes exactly how we want it, it's racked the final time for bottling. Again guys, I'm Rich Allen, Director of Viticulture and Winemaking for Rombauer Vineyards. If you'd like to learn anything more about our wines or any upcoming events here at the winery, uh, you can find all that information at rombauer.com. Have a great night.